What's up guys, my name is Chris, this is Sharp AF, and today I've got a really cool new knife to show you from Jack Wolf Knives. This is the Javelina Jack, or as I like to call it, the Javelina. The Javelina will be released on Friday, February 17th, and has instantly risen to my top three, I would say, Jack Wolf Knives of all time. There's a few things I really love about it. I love the Ergos, I love the size, and then there's a couple other things too, but we'll get to that in just a minute. First, let's show you the unboxing. All right, guys, so this is what you get with a Jack Wolf knife. It comes in a very nice box. Modern interpretation of timeless designs. And packed into this tube is a whole unboxing experience with some really cool artwork too. Check that out. <laughs> So why is this called the Javelina Jack? Well, from what I understand, where Ben is from in Arizona, Javelinas are these cute little furry animals that just wander around the streets. Very cute and cuddly. I think Ben even has a couple of them as pets. <laughs> and so he thought it would be fun to name a knife after his pet Javelina. No, actually, this is going to be a traditional sow belly design. And, you know, sow belly, pigs, hogs, Javelinas. You get where it came from. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready for it? So you get a fun little pog. Check that out with the really cool artwork. And then in the tube, we've also got a sticker. This piggy ain't little no more. Awesome. Awesome sticker. And a nice leather slip. These are all I've used to carry the Jack Wolf knife so far, and they've been great. And inside here, we've got a very nice large size cleaning cloth. And inside, and check that out. Man, that is a good looking knife right there, guys. Holy cow. So, first of all, this is the Camo Carbon Blaze Orange, and I think it looks amazing. There's two Camo Carbon versions there's this one, the Blaze Orange, and the Brittany Blue. That looks really nice as well. Two Fat Carbon models, the Purple Haze and Dark Matter Green. And then one micarta version, a natural canvas micarta. They all look freaking amazing, but I'm pretty stoked with this version right here. I think it looks fantastic. So one of the things I like best about the Javelina Jack is the ergonomics. And with this traditional sow belly shape, you have a very ergonomic and curvy handle, and it feels so good in hand. Especially, I feel like, in this grip right here, this is a grip that I think Ben mentioned that he likes to use on, on his knives. And the reason for that is, for one, it's freaking comfortable. And, and then also, bringing your thumb back a little bit, you're a little bit less likely to you know, push down on the spine of the blade and accidentally close the knife on your fingers. And then also, when you do that, um, you know, it's more of a three-finger grip. Your pinky kind of wraps around, but that curve just goes right into your palm in a really nice spot, and it's very, very comfortable for an excellent grip with literally no hot spots. I mean, it just fits in there good. No pocket clip to worry about. I would say probably one of the most ergonomic of the Jack Wolf knives, and it's even a little bit more compact and slim in size. So if you're new to Jack Wolf knives, what you typically get with the construction is a B-Blast titanium handle integral liner where you've got that bolster and liner one solid piece and then the different inlay materials. This version with the sow belly design, we've got a top bolster and no bottom bolster, a flush back spring that is flush in all positions, including at the half stop, an impeccable fit and finish, just insane, like literally almost as perfect as you could get, extremely tight tolerances. Titanium hardware, I believe T8 at the pivot, T6 with these inlay screws and then also what i'd probably call the best back spring on the market for production slip joint let's talk about the pull weights here on the javelina i would say right there is about a six six and a half and maybe a seven 
and coming back, probably six and a half, six. And the walk and the talk on this guy are wonderful. I would say it's not walking, it's jumping, man. Something about it just feels extra jumpy to me. S90V on the blade steel, which is obviously a very high quality premium steel with excellent edge retention, which is a great choice, in my opinion, for a slip joint, especially when paired with a Jack Wolf hollow grind, man. Very thin behind the edge. This is just going to slice for days. All right, let's check the factory edge. First cut's good. Second cut's golden. Very nice. Check that out. Extremely sharp factory edge. Very impressive. Clip point blade on the Havelina, and I am a huge sucker for Ben's clip points. So, a couple of my other favorite Jack Wolf knives are the Benny's clip, another clip point, and the Cyborg Jack. And honestly, the Havelina reminds me a lot of the Cyborg Jack. But where the Cyborg Jack is very angular, the Havelina is very curvy. But I love those clip points. Nice long swedge along the top. They look so freaking cool. And then compared to the Benny's clip, another one of my favorites, the blade is just a tad sh um, shorter and then not nearly as tall. The blade length is 2.83 inches. I think some of the other models are a little bit closer to 3 inches on the blade, with a cutting edge closer to 2.6. And the handle length is just past 3 and 3 quarters. I think the specs say 3.78. For an overall length of just shy of 6 and 3 quarters. The stock thickness, I'm pretty sure all of these have been 3 millimeters. And that's where we're at, three millimeters, which is 0.12 inches. And it weighs 2.2 ounces or 64 grams. Official specs say 2.3 ounces and 66 grams. Here are a few more size comparisons for you. This is the Venom Jack. You know, if we try and line up those bolsters, you can see this is just a tad shorter. Here's the low drag jack. And the vampire jack. Don't forget you guys, the Havelina jack drops on Friday, February 17th, and this is one you really don't want to miss. Something about the Havelina jack just hits different to me. It just really has got me excited, and I've loved carrying it the past week, and I'm going to keep carrying this one for quite a while. Seriously, in my top three, maybe even number one right now, I really, really liked the Cyborg Jack, and you still have a lot of the same aspects I liked about the Cyborg, but just a tad more ergonomic and comfortable. And so for me, this is taking the cake right now. Also a big fan of the orange on this version. Looks freaking sweet. And I'm super grateful to Ben Belkin for sending this into the channel. Check him out, Jack Wolf Knives. I'll put links to his authorized dealers and the Havelina Jack info down in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching.